For the first five, six years of the company's history, everything is going well. I mean, we're, we're, we're the only people in the world that do what we do with the scale that we do it around live entertainment, which everybody loves. And everything's working. Page views are skyrocketing. New user acquisition is skyrocketing. Uh, we're generating award-winning email publications. And revenue is going through the roof. Everything's good news. And then, of course. And then one day. We woke up and <laughs> thought that uh, something was broken and that we had gone offline. And literally, we had gone offline. Google had released Panda. And suddenly, a super successful search strategy, which was generating a lot of interest in our pages because people were doing Google queries, Dave Matthews, Phoenix, 2014, to discover what was happening when, was taken off the, was taken off the face of the earth. And just so everyone knows, P Panda and Penguin were releases of Google that went after link farms and other things. And right. unfortunately, qual some quality sites were also affected. Right. They saw us. They saw us as a content aggregator. Right. Yep. And so, of course, this happened. Yeah. Days, weeks, months go by, and I'm sitting in meeting after meeting with engineers, with search specialists, with consultants, with product people, and they're like, "We don't know." We had a lot of ideas. We tried a lot of things. There's blogs all over the place. Google had its own blog. They were telling us, okay, change this, change this, and then maybe we'll, you'll be in favor again. We did all of it, and it didn't help. Everything was bad except a ray of light. That's right. So one of the key metrics that we looked at, that we look at, is email's contribution to page views. And because page views overall were going down because of the erosion in search, the share of email contribution to page views was growing. And it was sort of the, um, the moment where you go, of course, Google, is not, Google and Panda are not touching our email. Our email is still highly engaging. Our email metrics are still solid. And there was one publication in particular that we looked at that we've talked about at this conference over the course of the last couple of years called Performer Alerts that continued to open at 20, 40, 60%. Go back to the demand it thing, right? You've demanded that Dave Matthews comes to your town. Dave Matthews comes to your town. Right. We send you an alert the minute tickets go on sale. So we looked at that and we said, okay, how do we do more of these? And the challenge was not, well, let's just open up the email distribution and send more. The challenge was how do we get more favorites, more demands from our users so we can speak to them not just once a year when Dave Matthews comes that one time, right. but we can talk to them 20, 30 times a year because nobody has just one artist in their iPod. Everybody has hundreds of artists in their iPod. So how do we get that data so that we can speak to our users with more personalization, with more relevance, and with greater frequency to increase paid views?